In this video, we're going to solder some jumper wires onto the rotary encoder. We'll be using jumper wires that have a pin and a socket on there. However, we're going to remove the plastic sockets because when we solder the cable on, the plastic will melt and that's going to be a big mess. What I'm doing is using an X-Acto knife to lift a small plastic tab that's retaining the plastic socket. And when I pull it off, you can see we see a metal connector crimped directly to the wire. I've got a set of two wires and a set of three wires. I've already loosened these tabs, so I'm just pulling these off. All done. Now on the encoder, there's three pins on one side and two on the other. The three pins represent the rotational encoder and the two pins represent an on-off switch. I should say a push-button switch. I'm sliding these jumper wires on and I've reserved black as the middle wire because the middle wire is the ground connection. With those three pins in place, I'm going to carefully solder this on and try not to damage the rotary encoder by leaving the soldering iron connected too long. There's one. Two. And three. Giving a little jiggle, I can see these are all three connected very well. Now I'm going to flip this over. And do the other side. place. And again a reminder, we do not want to leave the soldering iron touching the pins for too long as the excess heat can damage the rotary encoder by melting its plastic. You certainly do not need to use jumper wires, but I find it very convenient to solder the jumper wire one end permanently to the encoder and have the other end as a pin, which is easy to connect and reconnect and change while experimenting with Arduinos.